Hey everybody, so I just wanted to jump on here today and talk about the film 65. Now, I went into this movie with very little expectation. I'd seen the trailer. I really like Adam Driver. This is a movie that is brought to us by the writers of A Quiet Place, in addition to, of course, John Krasinski, who not only co-wrote, but also helmed that as a director. This movie is their turn to direct and write it together, the other two writers on that film. And I was really excited to give them a chance to see what they could do with the prehistoric tale, just giving us this narrative that's kind of bringing back that Jurassic Park feeling, the dinosaur era, and just seeing what they could do um, with that kind of uh, genre. Now, this is about an astronaut who crash lands in prehistoric Earth about 65 million years ago, hence the title 65. So, of course, there are going to be dinosaurs that are roaming the planet at this time, and he finds out that he's not alone. There's a young girl that has also crash landed there, and her name is Koa. And it's kind of a movie between the two of them and trying to survive this unknown, you know, destination um, and trying to get out of it alive and as safe as possible. Now, this film definitely reminded me a lot of The Last of Us. I had just recently seen that show, which is on HBO. And of course, if you've played the game, then you know all too well. It's about these two characters named Joel and Ellie. This movie kind of gives me that vibe in the sense that these are two complete strangers, an older man and a very young girl who are trying to work together to survive what is around them. There's a lot of danger that's ahead and there's a lot of unknown territory that they've yet to come across. And it was one of those things where I thought to myself, hmm, is it a little too familiar? Is it something that isn't all that noteworthy? I will say that the movie does lack a lot for me personally. I was actually very underwhelmed throughout the entire thing. The movie does move at a very glacial pace. There's not a lot of excitement that happens. Now that isn't to say that the CGI and that the action in the movie isn't fun when it happens, but the movie just kind of feels like it goes nowhere, like there's really no purpose to it. I thought there'd be something a little bit more exciting. I remember just sitting in the theater going, okay, uh, oh, that, oh, oh. And then, of course, like once it died down and it was just kind of them walking and trying to figure out what to do next, I was just kind of veering over here and not really paying attention because the movie just was not capturing my interest. And that's a really bad sign when a movie can't, you know, keep your attention for too long. The movie is about an hour and a half. It's actually very short in terms of its runtime. Yet I was very, very just bored. I was very out of it. I disconnected very early into the movie. And by the time the movie was over, I just kind of thought to myself, that was it. Was this all we got? This is what, a 40 to $45 million budget film and this is all we get? Now again, that isn't to say that the filmmakers or the people behind it didn't work hard on this. The movie looks really nice. However, I do feel as if the film just really lost its way maybe 20 minutes in and it really didn't give us much to remember this film. I don't think this is a movie that I'm going to care about. Maybe, well, even now. I saw it a couple days ago and I already just don't really care about it. So I think a year from now, I'm probably gonna forget that it even happened. And that's not a good sign. Of course, this is my personal opinion on the film. If you've seen it, I'd love to know what you think of 65. Did you enjoy it? Did you not like it as much as I did? I am curious to see what these two directors can do with their next projects because I do believe in them as storytellers. Again, A Quiet Place, I think is a really fun movie and they did a really wonderful job penning that script. But with this one, I don't know if it was that they had a bigger idea and maybe something got lost along the way, I'm not sure. But the movie just didn't work for me as a whole. It was one of those that I just thought were, you know, something that you can skip. It's something that we've kind of seen that's sort of, you know, a rehash of better movies, to be honest with you. So 65, not a movie I think you have to go rush out to see by any means. It's not a movie that I'm going to even recommend, even if it comes to streaming. I mean, if you were absolutely bored with nothing else to put on, then maybe. However, it's not a movie I even think is worth your time. The acting is really good in this. I think Adam Driver does a fantastic job. The young girl that plays his, uh, not his daughter, but the girl that he, you know, rescues and tries to help save throughout the course of this film. Her name is Ariana Greenblatt, I believe. She does a nice job. The acting is fine. However, just the storyline and the narrative as a whole just don't work for me. So I'm gonna have to give it a skip. I'm not going to recommend this movie. Again, if you've seen it, I'd love to know what you thought of it. Did you enjoy it? Is it something you would recommend? What are your thoughts? However, those are gonna be my two cents on it because it is something that just after it was over, I just kind of thought to myself, whew, thank goodness. So yeah, I wish I liked the film. I didn't, but those are just my thoughts on it. Again, drop your comments down below and let's talk about this. Other than that, it's a skip for me.